Every bed cover has its pros and cons. Do the cons of the Paragon retractable bed cover outweigh the pros? Let's find out. I think we're gonna start with some cons and then we'll go to the pros later on. The first con I'm going to list as all or nothing. And that's because this bed cover is not really designed to be partially opened at any point. It's designed to be opened all of the way or closed all the way. There is a way you can kind of have it partially open. You can use the rope that you use to pull it closed and tie it to a cargo loop in the bed so that it will only open so far and that rope will pull tight and won't let it go any farther. But it's not designed for that. And if you use that method, there's a good chance that the bed cover will rattle because it's not in its fully open or fully closed position. So you may get some noise. I don't know if it's possible with the way this bed cover is designed to implement a partially opened or closed system. Uh, but if it is, I would like to see that added in a future version of the Paragon bed cover. The second con for this bed cover has to do with the opening mechanism. Now, overall, it's not that bad of a mechanism. You have to push down on this panel right here to compress the shocks and get everything to slide back. But if you're someone who's a little bit shorter like me with a truck, it's kind of hard to reach up and push down on it a little bit. The farther you can reach toward the middle, the easier it is. But for me, it's a little bit harder. And if the bed cover has been sitting in the sun like it has right now, it's a little warm to the touch, sometimes pretty hot. So it can be a little difficult to get it to push in with your hands, especially if that black is hot from sitting in the sun. None of these cons that I mentioned are deal breakers for me because I still really like the bed cover overall, but it is something that I wanted to mention for anyone who is thinking about getting a Paragon bed cover as the opening mechanism requires you to put pressure up here where it may be warm or hot from sitting in the sun. The third and final item I'm gonna mention on the cons list is the strap for pulling the mechanism closed. Overall, the strap is a strap. You're probably thinking, why are you mentioning this? But the straps don't come with anything on the end of them. I actually added this carabiner here. They just come completely flat, nothing on the end to hook it to or anything. So I've noticed early on that when opening the bed cover, a lot of times this would get yanked down into the bed and I have to climb up into the bed and get it. And I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's something that's a little annoying. So I actually added a carabiner onto the end of it and had it sewed on so that I can attach it to one of these cargo loops and keep it from flying down into the bed all the way. And honestly, I feel like this is something that's really simple. So Paragon, if you're watching, uh, maybe consider adding some small carabiners or something to the end of your uh, pull ropes so that you can hook it to something and keep it from going up in the bed when the bed cover's open. And that just makes it easier so that when it's there, all I have to do is grab this and I can pull the bed cover closed. Now that we've got the cons out of the way, let's talk about my top three pros for the Paragon bed cover. The first pro is the style, the look and feel. I really like the way this bed cover looks. It has a very straight line appearance. It doesn't have an additional box at the front of the bed. It's not ultra bulky or anything like that. And I like the way it looks if you're looking at it from the side of the bed. It just has that streamlined appearance. thumbs up for looks and feel. The second pro for Paragon are the options. These bed covers come standard in a gloss black, a summit white, or a matte black powder coat. Uh, part of that depends on which bed cover option you choose. The Limit HD comes standard in matte black powder coat. The lowest priced bed cover they offer is the gloss black, and then the second price up is the white one. The other option that I really like is the tailgate seal that they have here. This seal comes standard with the limited HD bed cover and is an option with the lower priced bed covers. This tailgate seal just sticks on and you run it along the edge of the bed where the tailgate's going to come up 
and seal against it really well. I really like this option because other bed covers that I've had, water did get in around the side of the tailgate into the back of the bed. And even when I first put the Paragon bed cover on, before I actually went through the seal and put that on, water was getting in as well. And adding this seal has greatly reduced the water that gets in the back of the bed. In fact, I don't think any water gets around the sides of the tailgate anymore. So major thumbs up for tailgate seals. The third and final pro that I'm gonna mention about this Paragon bed cover is the ability to completely remove the cover itself if you want full access to the entire length of your bed and you need something that's taller than the sides of your bed to go in. I talked about this and demonstrated it in my install video, so I'm gonna link up that video down below and maybe also put a link to it at the end of this video as well. That way you can see how this bed cover removes and how easy it is to take out and put back in so that you have that full access to every bit of space in the bed of your truck. So do the pros outweigh the cons of a Paragon bed cover for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in your own Paragon bed cover, you can use code SOUTHPAW15 to get 15% off your own platinum or limited HD edition Paragon bed cover. I hope this review was helpful if you're in the market for a bed cover for your truck. If you want to see the install, check out this video right here. For now, thanks for watching. This is Southpaw Garage, signing out.